Well, this is wild. I was up around 1.45 a.m. on the Pacific, and I see that the Halo subreddit is locked because of death threats towards 343 and other Reddit users, as well as, you know, general toxicity. Now, I, I've, I've been lurking the Halo board because I've been trying to see what stuff people find and come up with and the criticisms and just what people are saying. And, yeah, from my perspective, it was definitely getting toxic. But it's crazy people are resorting to death threats. Under no circumstances should death threats ever be the result because you don't like something. It doesn't matter if this is the internet. It doesn't matter if this always happens. It shouldn't happen. I get it. This is humanity. Humanity is broken. It's always going to be there. I understand that sentiment. But that doesn't mean... We shouldn't be critical of that idea. Nobody at any point should be sending death threats over video games. Okay? So how did we get here? Here's the short version. We all know Halo Infinite has four modes. Quick play, bot boot camp, big team battle, and ranked arena. Now, people have been asking for a Slayer playlist since the beta's launch 343 announces uh, last week a couple of days ago that fiesta swat and free-for-all playlists will be coming soon and that slayer will be coming later and that is when people lost their crap that right there and people lost their crap because they think that adding playlists should be simple or that it should have already been there People created their own version of SWAT, so why can't they just do it? Everything around that conversation devolved into 343 is incompetent. So Sketch, one of the community managers, he gave several explanations as to why it's not as easy as just flipping a switch. How did the people respond? You're doing it wrong. How could it be that difficult? Your game isn't built right if you have to do all that. I'm not joking. All these armchair developers just came out of the woodwork with their experience. Some people have experience in software development, but not game development, and are still trying to tell 343 that they're doing it wrong. It is one of the most blatant manifestations of people wanting to continue to hate on 343 because of how they handled Halo 4, Halo 5, and the launch of the Master Chief Collection. Like, this is where this all comes from. People already don't like 343. So the moment 343 does anything wrong, particularly when they got something right, they're quick to go back to, uh-huh, see? Yeah, these guys don't know what they're doing. We told you. Now keep in mind, this distrust and dislike has been further increased since the beta because the battle pass hasn't been implemented well. So... People are feeling extra justified in their skepticism towards 343's ability to create something good. And it has snowballed into this nonsense over one playlist. One freaking playlist. Here's what so many of these people don't understand, though. The current playlists were created with the intention of solving a problem. That problem, particularly quick play is people not engaging in objective-based playlists. And so what did 343 do to solve that problem? They combined Slayer and the objective-based games and called it Quick Play. I don't think that's an unreasonable thing to do if the continual problem of Halo and its playlists is Slayer tends to dominate the playlists. If any of you are familiar with Halo, you know for a fact, Slayer dominates. Objective-based games get the shaft. So 3 for 3 was hoping that by doing that, by combining the objective-based games and Slayer, that people would play all of the game types. Particularly, you know, the ones that have made Halo great and makes Halo differentiate itself from its competitors. So no, yeah, they, they didn't originally have slayer as a playlist in mind so it shouldn't be a surprise after they've already explained this it shouldn't be a surprise their goal 
was to launch a multiplayer with a potentially gargantuan player base because it's free to play and make sure there was as little connection and server issues as possible. It's easier to track any problems when most of the people are, you know, quote unquote, in one room, right? Which that would be quick play. Plus, you have the added benefit of letting new players experience objective game type. So they were trying to solve two problems at once. They wanted new people into Halo to experience Halo's iconic game modes. I mean, wh when was the last time you saw Capture the Flag, right? Like, I'm glad that's back. There's a whole generation of players that probably have not played any Capture the Flag. Imagine if Slayer was its own playlist from the beginning. There's probably more people that would never experience Capture the Flag. Now, yes, there is an obvious discrepancy between the current playlist and the Battle Pass challenges. It's clear as day. I get wanting a playlist that is a solution to the problem of challenges, but that's not what these people are talking about. They're just saying 343 are stupid because they didn't include a Slayer playlist in the first place. I understand the criticism of releasing a game that is not completely done. I generally agree with that, but here's my thing. If a game launches half-baked from your perspective, particularly a free one like Halo Infinite's multiplayer, and you don't like it, why can't you just say your piece and move on? Like, what are you fighting for at this point? They've heard you. They've responded to you. Twice. Three times, I think. At least twice. What more do you have to say? They said they're working on it, but y'all are still chirping. They said they're going to add a playlist. You would think the response is, oh, appreciate that. Thanks for listening. But nope, some of y'all get cynical. Oh, they withheld stuff so that way when we ask them for something and they give it to us, we say thank you. Like, nobody's got time for that. Nobody's got time to withhold something just so that way that you could get their accolades. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. Or the other response is, oh, but it's not coming now. And I'm mad it's not coming now because it should have been here already. And see, that's why games should be complete when they come out. If that's how you feel, okay. I'm not going to argue with you. You can feel that way. That's fine. I understand that criticism. Stop playing the game. See, that kind of talk is why they get away with stuff. No, that's literally your solution. If it bothers you so much, stop playing. Halo Infinite multiplayer is not going to be measured by sales. It's going to be measured by engagement by time spent playing. They don't expect most people to buy anything. It's free to play. That comes with that label. Voting with your wallet in this instant doesn't mean as much. So you vote with your time and you don't give it to them. You stop playing. Say your piece, give your criticism, and stop playing. If other people don't agree with you, you ain't gotta say no more. It's not like those people are going to change 343. Oh, yeah, there's enough people who like what we do. No. 343 has heard you. 343 has said they're going to make changes, and you're still not happy. I don't understand it. But here's the bottom line. Halo Infinite has always been positioned as a live service game. 343 wanted to make sure that they did not repeat the same problems as the Master Chief Collection or Halo 4's multiplayer. So they consolidated. And guess what? So far, this feels like one of the best Halo games in a long time. Much better than 5, far better than 4. And you also know what? It doesn't have nearly the same level of connection problems as the Master Chief Collection had at launch. In that regard, 343 succeeded. We should be applauding them for that. Did they whiff the battle pass? Yes. Did they have all your favorite playlists? No. But guess what? They can fix it. And they said they will fix it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to live service games. Tap whatever thumb you like and subscribe, as I'll be following all the Halo Infinite action. My name is Anthony Shelton. I'll talk to you later.